this election is not just about what laws we're going to pass. This election is a generational choice about what kind of country we will be. Yes. Now just yesterday, a leader from yesterday, <laughs> began a campaign for president by promising to take us back to yesterday. <laughs> yesterday is over. It is so over. Miranda. <laughs> so Yesterday over. is so over. A very true statement, literally and figuratively, from Marco Rubio there in his big announcement yesterday. Welcome back mm -hmm. here to Newsmax Now. I'm John Bachman. And I'm Miranda Khan. Thanks for staying with us. We want to bring back in Brian Crowley real quickly to talk about one aspect of this the Senate race in 2016. Brian, we had Pam Bondi and Jeff Atwater, big political names in the state of Florida, both you know possible success or who could succeed Marco Rubio. Why? Would some folks be reluctant to jump in the Senate race? Well, I think both Pam Bondi and uh, Jeff Atwater have looked more toward a 2018 governor's race. I think Jeff, would, in particular, is more interested in running for governor than he is for the U.S. Senate. I do think there's a lot of people in Florida right now who uh, get up in the morning and look in the mirror and see a United States senator, and I suspect we'll have some surprise candidates uh, in the months to come. Any speculation as to who may join the race? Oh, gosh. You know, I... I I wouldn't be surprised if we have a Jeff Green, Rick Scott, some guy that's got a lot of money who thinks that, uh, you know, he looked in the mirror this morning and saw a U.S. Senator and thinks, why not, and uh, decides to run. So I'd, I'd keep an eye out for the wealthy billionaire candidate to show up. Yeah, Jeff Green wouldn't be his first yeah. time around the track. We'll see you <laughs> that. Brian, thanks so much for being with us. Hopefully check back in with you very soon here. Glad to be here. Now let's bring in our roundtable. Joining us today is managing editor of Shark Tank, Javier Manjeres, and Forbes.com senior political contributor Rick Unger. Thanks so much for joining us. Good to be here. We got everyone there. Hi, Rick. How you doing? So what I'm did good, you? Good. How are you guys today? Doing all right. So what did you think of Rubio's speech and announcement yesterday? What did? What, what was your reaction? I I, I thought he did a pretty good job, actually. I, the uh, the section that you played introducing this segment clearly was the best. I, I have to admit it was very well written and took advantage of the situation that Hillary had announced the day before. There were a few places where I thought he stumbled a bit. I probably still give the edge to Rand Paul in terms of the best speech I've heard so far, but I think he did fine. And do you think his legacy would be hurt if uh, this, this sentency, which is going to be a big one, the, the map is not all that favorable to Republicans as a whole nationally, but if the Republicans lose that Senate seat in Florida, how devastating would that be to Rubio's legacy? Oh, I can't imagine it would affect it one bit. Uh, look, I mean, Barack Obama's seat ultimately was lost to a Republican, uh, Mr. Kirk, up in Illinois. Nobody even paid attention or notices. You know, you're going to have to judge Marco Rubio's term. We know he loves those comparisons to Senate. Obama, Rick. We know Say that again? We know Rubio loves those comparisons to Obama. I, I'm not following the point. I'm really not. You're asking if his... If his if his legacy would be affected if the seat went to another party, right? That's exactly right. Just a comment. Yeah, so I'm just saying it happened with Obama, and I don't think that it affected his I don't think anybody's going to be thinking about it. Uh, Marco Rubio will be judged, you know, based on whether or not you liked him as a senator or you didn't. Javier, let's bring you into the conversation. What did you think about Rubio's announcement? I thought it was great. I thought it had a lot of points that he made back in the 2010 Senate race. But again, uh, uh, to, to what uh, uh, Mr. Unger said, it was the great. The money line was the one that Hillary was the politician of yesterday. Uh, I think everyone in the crowd was. I was there. Everyone in the crowd was enthusiastic. They were inspired by his speech. Uh, but I think he did well. I think I don't think he stumbled. I think what he, what the problem with Marco is, and I've seen him speak so many times, is that he doesn't do well when he reads off a teleprompter or off a TV set, and that's what, exactly what he was doing yesterday. Let's talk about the sweating. We have to bring it up. Yep. I you know think it's going to hurt him? He's a close friend. I know him very well. Um, it was, I was in the room, like I said. There were 600 some odd people in the room. It was very comfortable, but not as comfortable as you would want if you were someone who was about to announce for president. And he's a, he's a natural sweater. He, all his life, from what, I've, from what I've known him, he's always sweated, even when in, the, in the car when the AC is kicking. That's just his body type. <laughs> natural <laughs> sweater. It didn't show yeah. up. I, I didn't see it watching it on TV. It didn't uh, enter my mind, I got to say. Not, 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 not the dabbing, Rick. It didn't bother you at all. No, I. In fact, this is the first I thought about it. You know, I mean, we all. When he reaches for a sip of water, we all obviously 
tra our minds travel back to that fateful night when he gave that, that uh, <laughs> response to the State of the Union. But no, I actually didn't. That didn't bother me, I have to say. But, well, John, I, but John, here's we gotta, we got to run, Javier, but you know, I just will leave it with this. As we mentioned before, he did raise over $100,000 on that water bottle moment. We'll see what happens with this one, gentlemen. Thanks so much, and thanks for dealing with our slight little issue there, getting everybody set up. But we're glad to have you both join us for our political roundtable. We'll be back after this.